Hello iPod users, in today's video I'm going to show you how to put the music from your favorite CDs onto your iPod. So the first thing you should do is that you con should connect your iPod to your PC or a Mac. It doesn't matter whether you want, whether you got a iPod mini, touch or classic, the process will be very similar. So once you have uh, plugged in the USB wire into your PC, wait for a couple of seconds to iPod to get connected successfully. So once it will get connected successfully on your iTunes window, a new section should appear on the left sidebar, which is um, called Devices, and you should see your iPod's name. So once you have done this, and once you see this new section, this means that you have connected your iPod successfully. So the next step is to pick up your favorite CD, put it into your CD drive, and wait a couple of seconds. A new window should pop up which will ask you whether you want to copy the music straight away from your CD onto your music library. And let's see what happens now. Yes, so as you can see iTunes asks you whether you want to import the CD, the contents of the CD into your iTunes library. If you'll click yes, the music, all the music from the CD will appear on the library music section. So you'll find all the music over here. So you can click uh, yes, but there's another way to like to transfer music from your CDs onto your iPod, which is using Windows Media Player. So I'll click now in this example, but in case you just you don't need to you don't want to use Windows Media Player, just click yes and everything the process will be the same. So I will click now and I will open up um, I will open up the CD with uh, my um, uh, Windows Media Player and I will see all the songs on, on the on the right so and then I'll click rip and I and I'll just select the songs I want to to be copied onto my iPod so I'm, in this example I'm gonna use just one song which is um, uh, let's use the push the feeling on so okay I, I tick the song and I will I will click start rip. Uh, once uh, the song is go going to be ripped, it should appear in my in my music folder, which can be found in my documents. So let's wait a couple of, a couple of seconds and see what happens. And by the way, sorry for my English because this is isn't my first language. And in case you want a written version, I will write an article about this process. So okay, as you can see the song was ripped to library so the next step is to go to your uh, music folder which is in my documents and it should be you should you should see some new folders which which should be called by the name of the CD so in this example there is a, a various artist I click there I see another folder and I see this song you see uh, push the feeling on so this means that the song was copied from your CD onto your computer so simply click on the song and just drag it into your iTunes and then drag it to your library. Uh, now uh, iTunes will ask you whether you want to convert the song into MP3 format. Oh no, sorry, AAC format. So they can can be added to iTunes library. You sh the, the thing you should do is that you should click convert and it will take you a couple of seconds for the song to be converted from one format to another. You don't need to worry about this stuff because this isn't related to anything. So it will take us about 20, 19 seconds and let's see what happens after. Okay, so once the song has been finished converting, check your library and music folder and you should see that the song is over there, which is uh, in this example push the feeling on, on, on and this means that you have successfully copied uh, the, the music, the song from your CD onto your iTunes music library. So the next step now is to just drag your your song into your playlist 
or into your iPod. So in this example, I've got my gym playlist. So I'm just gonna put it there. A simple drag. It's gonna take you just a few seconds, one or two seconds, and just like in case, just check the song. And uh, and yes, you can see that in my iPod's playlist, this is a song which is called Push the, Push the Feeling On, and this song was on the CD. So this is how you transfer the music from your CDs onto your iPod. So the final step is to click the eject button, and that's it, you are done. You can listen for the songs on the move. So I would like to thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope you liked it. And I hope you'll give it me a good rating if you liked it. And if you want to find out more tips on using iPods and other Apple products, visit applefam.com for more tips and tricks. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.